You have a ton of gorgeous photos that you've taken for your Instagram, but why just post them once and then let them get buried in your feed? I am going to show you the five places that I reuse all of my Instagram photos to help market my pins and sell more of them. And really quick, if you are bonkers about pins like me, then you should go ahead and subscribe because I post new videos every Friday that's all about the business of enamel pins. So join me. I'm here every week. It's awesome. You should subscribe. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I recently posted a video all about my photo setup and how I take photos for Instagram using just my phone. So you can check that out. And I also have a video all about Instagram tips uh, for pin makers. So you can check that out too. <laughs> And I have a webinar that is an in-depth look, like step-by-step -step of ways that you can increase your following on Instagram. So check that out. You know I love Instagram for pins. That's where everyone is in the pin community. Um, but in this video, I am going to show you how to reuse those photos that you've taken and exactly where to put them to help save you time and just so they don't get lost. So you have all this gorgeous content. Why not use it and make it work for you so these are all the places that I use my photos and how I have built my own business and um, all the places that I market and how I reuse and basically the strategies that have helped save me time and make me money so let's do it okay the first place and the first logical place to reuse your photos is in Instagram stories so I've mentioned this before every time you post a photo on your feed use that uh, paper airplane and shoot it over to your stories. You get bonus points if you like hide it behind a GIF to make people go see it. If you add some kind of call to action in the um, stories description, like you can put some tests, it's like text. <laughs> it's like, um, hop over to my post, tell me what you think. You know, I'm asking questions about blah, 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 just to get people from stories over to your feed. But if you stick it in your stories, that's your most engaged audience. They're the people that are going to see you um, most often. So you want them to know. So always do that. You can also use stories. Um, you could just use it as a template behind if you're answering questions, if you're doing a Q&A, or if you just want to tell people about a sale, or just to pop up randomly and say, hey, <laughs> don't forget I have this pen, and use those photos that you've already taken and um and use that as a background so you're using your own content people are still seeing your work and it's just a good way to recycle so you don't have to take more photos or have like a generic background you can always use stuff that you already have okay the second place i think you should reuse your instagram content is in your shop so you've taken all of these photos you probably have multiple photos of the same pen and you can reuse that in your shop and use it as supplemental images on your listings so um, I would challenge you to go through your shop and see if you have any um, listings that have just, you know, a couple of photos and just put some more pictures in. Um, customers love seeing in contact stuff. I used to work for a startup and I was the head of the photo team there and we did a lot of testing around uh, what product imagery people you know, responded to. And it always, the stuff in context, always outperforms just something on a white background. So if you have a photo of your pin in context, being worn on a surface, you know, in action, those are always going to convert better than just a plain regular photo. So something to think about for your shop. And also in your shop, if you have the ability to have like, um, cover images or feature images or collection images, um, that's a good place to reuse Instagram um, photos as well. So I use Shopify right now. So there's an ability to create collections and then you can assign a photo to that collection. And um, it's a good way you can cycle through it. You can see which ones work best. Um, and you can just, just to mix up your shop, I think it's really fun. You can have more hero images and, and stuff like that. So um, let me know down below if you have a shop that has that ability. Um, or if you don't, I would love to know kind of what shop you use and if you have that ability. So let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. <laughs> All right, so the third place that you can reuse your Instagram images is Pinterest. I mentioned that in the marketing video recently. You can check that out, um, how I like to use Pinterest, kind of a broad overview of why I think it's a good place to market your pins. 
but it's also a great way to reuse your content from Instagram over to Pinterest. So if you have photos that are vertically aligned, which I do recommend, I think it's good to take up more space <laughs> and um, anytime you can do it. Uh, I never post horizontal photos on Instagram. I always do um, vertical if I can, um, but you can use those and vertical images do better on Pinterest. So if you have vertical images on Instagram, let me show you exactly how to pop those over to Pinterest to work for you there. Okay, so all you need to do is go to the three dots or the ellipses in the upper right corner of your Instagram post and, um, and then tap share to and you'll see all of the connected apps you've got. After that, you choose the image you want to use and then tap next and then choose which board you want to send it to easy peasy so you can use this for as many posts as you want and you can also use the same image on multiple boards pinterest has their own algorithm and things aren't um chronological anymore there either so you can go nuts <laughs> you can put them on multiple boards and then you can also get into pinterest and repin them to other boards you can really make these photos work for you in multiple ways so i highly recommend just takes a second might as well just pop it over there as well fourth place to reuse your instagram photos and content is in emails you know i love emails i talk about it in my marketing um my marketing video which i've already linked a bajillion times um but emails are super important make your list already and you can use your photos as like hero images you can put them in your content you can even show like these are my top three posts from the week or from the month or like these are the posts that you're loving just as another piece of content for your email list so um, there are lots of different ways you can reuse your photos in your emails as well Another fun thing you can do, I just thought of <laughs> in your emails, is you can also set them as a link a lot of times. So if someone clicks on the image, they're like, oh man, like even if you don't have a call to action that's like, click on this to buy it, you can still put that link in there. So if someone does happen to click it and they, they want to buy, you can um, shoot them right over to the listing for the pins that you have um, in the photo. So another fun top tip. Okay, the last place that you should reuse your Instagram photos is Instagram. <laughs> um, I have photos. I have been posting super regularly on Instagram for years. So I have a ton of backlog of photos for Instagram. And this, these are pins that I have in my permanent collection. So I've got tons of content, so why not reuse it? Especially if the photo is like a year or more old, you have so many more followers than you did at that point that have never seen that photo. And you can't even guarantee that some of the followers that you have have seen that photo anyway, so you might as well reshare it. I mean, I wouldn't do it super recently, like don't do it in weeks or even like a couple of months because people might notice, but if you have older photos, you might as well. I've reused some for my Halloween collection this year <laughs> that I did for last year. And um, especially if it's a photo that you know performs well, there is no harm in using it again. Just don't go nuts. <laughs> and like have the same photo over and over again uh, but definitely reuse it i give you permission to reuse your instagram photos on instagram as well i promise it will save you time and uh, if they perform well then awesome why not okay so those were the five places i think you should reuse your instagram content and photos if you want to grow your instagram following you should check out my webinar five ways to grow your following fast and that talks all about um, how to take photos how to find your people and how to sell more pins i go super in depth into everything in that so definitely check that out and I was thinking since I am filming this on Halloween, <laughs> my Emmons Sprout shirt, um, you should leave a Halloween emoji down below if this, uh, if you made it this far <laughs> and if you thought this uh, video is helpful. So leave me a weird Halloween emoji and then people who don't make it to the end won't even understand why there's a bunch of Halloween stuff. Okay, so um, do that, check out the webinar, reuse your Instagram photos, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!